with Tom Kiffin. Tom, it was such a gorgeous day. I'm not looking forward to what we're having coming up. Yeah, <laughs> tomorrow is definitely not going to be fun because we do have some chillier temperatures, rain showers, and also wind. We enjoyed the nice day outside today with temperatures that were in the 70s. And in fact, in the western UP, some spots even knocked on the door of 80 degrees. So it was just a beautiful October day today. But we had to deal with a 30 mile per hour wind gust at times or slightly higher. But I'll tell you what, if we're going to get warmer days between now and next spring, odds are it's coming with a good southerly wind. So that's kind of the trade off here. So let's get you to our 906 Weather Watchers page. A little bit of technical difficulties here. I forgot to charge the other iPad that we usually do our 906 Weather Watchers on. So we kind of had to go into scramble mode here and get the newsroom iPad going here. And it's a little bit of a different layout here. So what I'm going to do is try to expand. There we go. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Nope, it doesn't just, look. I just want to get maybe this. once you click on a picture, it might work. Yeah, but. let's try this. So, first up, Patty Layton, Scandia, enjoying the pretty fall day. Pretty fall day, enjoying the pretty colors, and they have some beautiful colors out there in Scandia. Just gorgeous out there. Some of the maple trees out there, and I want to get back to our 906 Weather Watchers page here. This is definitely giving me a little bit of uh, some headache here because I don't have the actual app. I'm going through the web browser here, but just some beautiful fall colors there from Patty in Scandia. Thanks for sending that in. Moonlight, Don Anderson Sr. around the Gwynn area. You can see some of the clouds moving on in over the moon, kind of making it October like we are in the Halloween season. Thanks, Don, for sending that in. And then check this out from this past weekend. Charlie had a wonderful fall weekend. Weekend, and you can see him just enjoying yeah, the sunshine. He's smiling. <laughs> yeah, Terry says he enjoys the cool weather. So I don't think he's so much of a warm weather fan, mm -hmm. but he's enjoying the cool. He does enjoy the cool weather, and he had that this past weekend here. And they also got Terry also got some beautiful fall shots there in the corner right here. A uh, little trouble expanding those out mm -hmm. here. And my iPad is the iPad I usually do the 906 Weather Watchers on is still charging. So we're with the web browser here with Facebook. But thanks, Terry, for set for letting me use that. Bonnie V the other day, beautiful fall colors, including just the reflection off the lake there. And then as we look at some other photos here, we did have some beautiful sunset photos here from this evening, Becca here, including Lisa from Ludington Park in Escanaba here. You can see she's sitting at the park enjoying a nice fall evening. There's the sun setting there. Thanks, Lisa, for sending that into our 906 Weather Watchers page. Don Anderson Sr., last Saturday, Munising Overlook here, and that's M28 right here. And then there's Grand Island, I believe, on your left-hand side. And then there's Munising Bay, beautiful fall color. I was mentioning this to Jake yesterday. I don't know if I've ever seen a fall with just brilliant color mm -hmm. from what we've had this Very year. Vibrant, yeah. Just beautiful here. Don Meshagod here, sunset a little bit ago. Well, when he sent that in a little bit ago, but this evening sunset in in uh, Hannaville, I believe here. Yep, Hannaville, and you can see the sun setting there, some clouds off in the distance. Thanks. Thank you, Dan, for sending that in. And then Jerry, wildflowers came up in the chicken pen, sunset in the fall, colors in my backyard. And you can see the beautiful fall colors at his place here, bright, vibrant orange and red too, some beautiful flowers. And then there's the beautiful sunset. Thank you, Jerry, for sending that in and letting us use it during WJM and Local 3 News. Ron, this morning in Manistique, sun came up. There's the last of the moon. Beautiful day, beautiful start to the day in Manistique. Thanks, Ron, for sending that in. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page, feel free to search it on Facebook. We'd love to show off your weather photos during WJM and Local 3 News. I'll remember to charge the other iPad tomorrow <laughs> evening and we'll have it, our 906 Weather Watchers the regular way. So look forward to that too tomorrow night. Otherwise, let's get you to our Max computer here. And you can see we do have dry conditions on our Local 3 radar network, but back on off towards Minnesota. We do have some thunderstorms developing. That's all out ahead of a cold front here. Definitely see that dividing line here. 70 Minneapolis, 55 Bemidji, Minnesota, 40s out in North Dakota. We're still in the 50s, 60s, and even some Western UP spots 
currently are still in the 70s. 73 was today's official high at the Weather Service. No record, though. 85 is the record high set back on this date, set back in 2015. Temperatures aren't going far tonight, but they're going in the cooler direction tomorrow. Temperatures by the late afternoon will be in the 40s and 50s, and that's coming with rain as we go in the later tonight and also tomorrow. And don't be surprised if we do hear a rumble of thunder. Good southerly wind continues tonight, and then it becomes a westerly good wind, and that's what's going to bring in the cooler temperatures. Eventually, all of us end up around 60 later tonight, early Wednesday morning, and then we continue to cool off. 50s for Marquette, maybe 40s to around 50 by the late afternoon, and then for Escanaba, 50s tomorrow, chilly Thursday and Friday. Temperatures across the UP will be in the 40s and 50s this weekend with maybe some rain shower chances, and then we are looking at temperatures maybe becoming chillier as we go into early next week.